I made a plan to spend a Sunday playing with makeup with my friend, renowned principal ballet dancer Roberta Marquez, at the Royal Opera House. Roberta is an amazing dancer from Brazil, who's been a principal dancer with the Royal Ballet Company since 2004. As there were preparations going on for a performance of La Bayadere, I thought we should do a Bollywood-inspired makeup for fun, as her character in this ballet is an Indian dancer. When I arrived, Roberta told me the Indian costume hadn't arrived, but she did have two incredible dresses from Sleeping Beauty, a pretty pink confection and a bejeweled white dress from the wedding scene. At some point, I think almost every little girl dreams of being a ballet dancer, and Roberta really embodies everything they aspire to. Passionate about ballet from the age of four, Roberta is incredibly graceful even her dressing room is super girly. I've decided to do a look for the Sleeping Beauty wedding dress, but also keep a little bit of the Bollywood drama for fun. So it's a bit of a ballet makeup mashup. For eyes, I've chosen the super feminine Dior palette in pink design, which has shimmery opals, lavenders, and glittery pinks. Beginning with the lightest color first, I then added the pink shade from the center of the palette across the lid and then applied the glittery pale pink all over the top. I applied a black liquid liner really sweeping and extending at the outer edge for dramatic effect. Then using a brush, I applied a waterproof gel liner over the top, looking straight on to establish where the flick on the second eye should be. I then gave Roberta's lashes a really good curl and applied plenty of waterproof mascara in black. I used Theatrical Supply Store False Lashes cutting to remove the lashes from the inner corner, dropping the lash onto the outer two thirds of the lash line and extending past the lash line slightly, I applied pressure upwards to lift the eye. Back to the eyeshadow palette, I applied the purple shade along the top of the socket line, opening the eyes to check positioning and then blending and extending at the outer edge. Underneath, I applied a black line away from the lower lash line to give a big eye look from the distance of the stage. Applying gel first and then softening the line with a little powder shadow. The dress was covered in crystals, so I added a few in between the upper and lower liner. These will catch the light a little from the distance of the stage. Contouring is really important for the performer as it gives definition to the face in the strong lights. I applied contour powder to the cheekbones, forehead and jawline. Above the contour, I used a very pretty pink blush. Keeping with the sparkly theme of the dress, I applied a powder highlighter to the top of Roberta's cheekbones. On Roberta's waterline, I added a tiny touch of white pencil to give the appearance of big open eyes. For fun, I used a couple of giant glitter pieces to highlight the inner corner of the eyes. As a final touch, I extended the liner even further. I emphasised only the top of the brows to create a feeling of space using brow powder applied with a damp brush. On to lips. I outlined and filled them in first with Bobbi Brown's lip pencil in ballet pink. What else? Applying a bright pink lipstick, then blotting really well with a tissue to create a long-lasting stain. Roberta did her hair and applied the crown which goes with her Sleeping Beauty wedding costume and I added a touch of gloss to the centre of her lower lip. It's a real privilege to watch Roberta. She's such an amazing and talented dancer and a beautiful soul. I think anyone who watches her dance can't help but fall in love with her. Mm -hmm.